is still having a rough game, maybe Spirit will target that. And we're off to the races here. I just balance has utility and a P250 behind it. You can see Chopper, he's just rocking that Glock, but Magix has actually been dropped to P250 as well here. So quite the potent purchase on the T side, going up against four Kevlar opponents of complexity and one smoke and a kit in the hands of the supportive player Rush on the blue side. All right, blame F. Oh. Was he all right? All right I, I, <laughs> I thought he was just kind of posturing a little bit, peacocking, trying to give off bigger impressions, but he was ready to commit to it. Poison as well, having a go, but no, those beautiful USPS shots coming out that we love to see. They're not quite finding a precise target, but they have done a fair whack of damage. Okay. Or parting gift on the way out. Yeah. Not the bad. Jostling for position, getting dangerous for poison, isn't it? And uh, back over towards B, we head. They have this smoke to use on I Disbounce. It might just be the one over towards short. That would cover off those mid rotators because by doing that towards middle, you want it, it should be landing exactly there. You want to be finding out how many players are close by. I was going towards the windows. Tugs in on the close corner. That's one through. Needs to make a right choice here, and disbalance does go down, but Mir's very quick to respond. Bomb, 30 seconds on Chopper, and they're just having a duel they want. Now, this looks a bit unfavorable for Poison and Rush, so low. Trying to separate themselves, but the bomb goes down, and he's called them both in Kitchen. They're both low. There is really no universe where this works out well for the CTs. They've got the high HP player peaking, and Rush does well to find one. Needs Mir. And in the off angle, misses his shot. It was a viable attempt. Rush was low, 34, no armor. He just had to hit the bullet, but fantastic work from Rush to overcome and adapt. Quick first round for complexity, down to a one-on-one, -on -one, though. It's a real testament to how closely knit these teams are. And Spirit, in the words of Magix, are battling and vying to be relevant across the entirety of this pro league. Already posting a big win. Even more, though, and that was the shot from Rush that kept him in the round. I think it was good stuff from Oboe to get off the mark here with two kills to his name. I was talking about some of the troubles he had on Nuke in the previous. So as a confidence player goes, getting pills, pills? Getting kills in the pistol round. Someone on the mind, chat. Don't do drugs, kids. Look at this buy. Four Galils and a, three Galils, an AK and a Scout. Second round of the game, Counter-Strike in 2020. Yeah, it's, it's, it's curious to come back to. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit wonderful. Sure, if it does some damage, I'm all for it. They haven't fully given away the game either just yet. I don't know if the CTs are aware of what they're up against, maybe theorizing it, considering it, I'm sure. But you see that plan come through, it's going to be a little bit different, isn't it? Oh, the timing on that from Poison couldn't have been worse. Tag exchange, not going to go down. That is nice from Mir. Draws Blame F into the pain train. And Mir adding another to his list as well. First for him in this round. Looks good for Spirit to do damage in this one. Smoking off the connector. Obo flirting with the idea of a rotation. Would be ill-advised, that's for sure. They don't have much utility to take these sites, so still definitely a chance for Rush and Obo. Balance, no armor, given the Galil. Oh, Obo, spotted. Good chance for SDY here. Ooh, playing with fire, trying to fake the B. CTs are going to be reacting accordingly, and now Rush. Element of surprise is his best weapon now. Rush is just waiting so patiently. There we go. Information found. Definitely saw the player with the bomb as well, so they should be able to call this over. Rush can just try and Play buy time. That's all he wants to do. Stay a little safe. Beautiful. Stunning work from Rush. That's experience and calmness under pressure. I said Oboe was the A anchor, and as I was just flicking back through uh, one of my lovely tools here to be looking at it, in the recent game they played, uh, he was the A anchor. So here he's been over towards B on the, the pistol round and on the first gun round. Maybe I got my wires crossed. I'll have to go back and double, triple check. But that's really good stuff from Rush there, as Jason Lake has entered the feed. <laughs> hey, there we go. So we're going to 
going to get underway with round number three, which should be an eco from Team Spirit. I wouldn't see them limping on in with an investment once again. You see they have the 2,400 loss burners coming on through, and if they save right now, 2,900 into the next, all the goodies will be able to be purchased on up. Some deagles to keep it interesting, and always a chance to open the door. You find one deagle headshot, the CTs, there's a gap. They have to fill that hole. You know, we where, all. You know the avenues that you have to be taken. Titus Barnes will be keeping the Glock, and if you haven't worked it out by now, it's because he's the AWPer, wants to keep as much money as he can so that he can buy the AWP on the gun rounds, keep it as the primary weapon of choice. Uh, All right, hello. brave boy. Chopper. <laughs> I mean, it was bold. <laughs> Config's going to be absolutely livid with that, but a trade comes in. Nicely handled with Blame after not letting it get too far, and uh, Deagles can certainly do the dirty work, but... At the moment, no one really gifting much up. There we go. I just passed. I get himself a deagle in the end, but... <laughs> what the hell are these guys doing with these guns? Yeah, very uh, comfortable with them, but Obo taking space when he knows they're unaware. And keep their CTs exactly where they're posted. Blame responsible for middle, and he will be willing to take this duel. Spirit really are one of the, uh, the few teams that frustrate me, Chad. Do you like their pace? It's not that it's not, like it's completely justified mm. and it makes a lot of sense and it is how you can play to win, but like it sends me to sleep. Like SDY and disbalance, no armor, half health, walking now into the lion's den and blame will eventually at least get one of them. Disbalance already doing more economical damage to the CTs. He's got a weapon as well. If Rush fluffs oh his God. lines, disbalance has a chance and a big one at that. 25 seconds, he can pivot to both sides now. And it's Oboe he's up against. He has stabilized. He's got good kills at the start of this. But tell me, you don't get that little bit of a worrying feeling. But Oboe this time kind of taken into account. But I think oh, he, he heard been, enough. Yeah. Did he hear the steps? Or he's guessed whichever way it goes down. Bomb goes in. He knows what's up. There is a molly, but Disbalance has no idea this player is this close by. He's going to play it smart. Whoa. Not smart enough. Nicely done by Oboe. Whether or not he heard him run doesn't really matter. He gets the job done, and that's going to feel great for him. So one of the factors there, and I, I think you bring up a very good point, Alex, is the sense that it is very, very slow. And what we saw against Vi Vitality, it, that's the way that they approach the game. They end up losing that game to Vitality. Yeah. Uh, and with that in mind, the thing is, if we're watching and say, like, oh, you know, this is, the, uh, we're starting to get a bit anxious about how is this one going to go or what are they doing? The same thing is going to be thought on the other side of the server. Now, it, it seems like it should be easy just be like, yeah, okay, we can sit back, we can wait. Some players get impatient, you know, and you get a little bit lazy on the focus of your mouse looking at that screen. And just swinging out at a timing they're not expecting could be an avenue in. But I was watching some more Team Spirit games, and they don't always play super slow. They're playing against Gambit Youngsters not that long ago, much more mid-presence, a lot more fighty, just like this. Oh, knife out, mere no chance, config. On the push-up, this is nice. This is pace being controlled by Complexity. You didn't want slow pace, you don't get it anymore. Complexity won this round over with and in a jiffy too. Jiffy? Yeah. Well, that went a while. Yeah. Rolling it back. Okay. No, oh, no. Bombs down. <laughs> SDY dinked. It got interesting for a split second. You know, talking of jiffy, it's not really relevant, but you know about Jaffa cakes? Yeah, they were great. Right, well, Germany sell Jaffa cakes, but instead of orange in the middle, it's raspberry. I've had... Uh, cherry ones in yeah, Poland. It's legit. They never copyrighted. I think the name. I think remember reading something about this. They never copyrighted the name Jaffa Cake, so you can that you can sell them as. Oh really? Jaffa but they're cakes. not called Jaffa Cakes. I think they've got some mm. weird German name, but probably. But yeah, yeah, no, I found orange ones. They're in Rover. Oh, I'm not interested in that. I always you like that the was raspberry? the downside of the Jaffa was the orange center. Really? Oh, you like the raspberry? I quite liked it. Oh, yes. Orange flavors never floated my boat, but that's mm. irrelevant. And uh, Poison has collected his third frag. So complexity off to the fantastic start. We could expect it is going to be down to. Team Spirit to show us what they got. I really want to try and keep track of this Oboe Rush situation because that round, Rush was at B and Oboe was at A. Is it spawn base, lol? Potentially. That's what I'm looking for now. But Rush <laughs> has the better spawn for the B side. And Oboe, but, but unless he wants to go aggressive up towards the close A ramp. money like? They, they should, well, on the T side, well. No, no, I was looking at Oboe. I'm trying to look for any difference as to why one would play one side. Yeah, I, I'm trying to work it out as it could be like a full on setup. It, like the, the setup could be dependent on it, not necessarily on what the two anchors are doing, which is what they are, what the other three. I mean, config was be solo on the pistol as well. Like everyone's had a go. Yeah, it, well, so, okay, so I'm looking, so pistol rounds are one of those rounds where they tend to be a little bit more in flux. It's the general anti-ecos and gun rounds are where you're playing your more standard setups. Like they obviously went aggressive middle there. 
And that could have been one of the reasons as to why they're in different positions. Could have genuinely been a spawn-based scenario. So let's have a look now. Rush is heading towards A. Over, over towards B. Okay, well, I'll just keep track of this. I, I'm, I'm more interested than anybody, so... Yeah. <laughs> no one else cares. Chad cares. Okay, so... This is back to the slower approach. We saw this just the other day against Vitality, and we know that Vitality are a team who like to go quite aggressive on their CT sides. Complexity have already shown one approach in a similar vein as I dismounts with top mid control smokes out towards window. Yeah, he's got a pop flash held for those wanting to progress connector. He's used it already. This does feel very, very reminiscent of older Counter-Strike. The Counter-Strike I remember walking away from at Posture this middle, yeah. wait 45 seconds. Literally, Navi, Dust2, yeah. Navi any map. Literally, this pace of, as said, very, very slow, meticulous. But honestly, we, we might get some actions around 50 seconds. So you know what? It's it. Eh. I think you're dreaming, Lawrence, yep, to be honest. Nope, Bombs nope. at T-spawn. Dreams can... Flame's low, and he's Great. had to rotate over towards Beast. They are gamble stacking for the Beast split. It looks like it might be the right call. Yeah, Mir's position actually does really hold a lot of weight. Oboe holding that with only a FAMAS. So significant advantage for Mir on that. He's certainly considering it as an option. His cross air placement communicates that. But towards B with 25 seconds, this is where Mir would probably want to start making some space. One flash, two flash, time to go. Mir. Oh, the timing! It wasn't terrible, but the T's fall to pieces with 13 seconds on the board and a, you know, crowd going mild now. Oh, man. Like, so you make it to five. It's. it's if you're leaving that late, I feel there's got to be a plan. It's why I, I didn't mind seeing certain teams doing the late in the day hits because they were so well constructed. They felt like a great deal of purpose. Uh, I didn't feel like it had everything going for it. Yeah, Poison's double certainly contributing into making that one, making it triple, making things difficult. This might be quicker with the Tech Nines. Could just be a fast B hit. We see the standard pillar smoke smokes over towards the windows as well. Yeah, this one is much faster. Oboe to receive. Drops his own smoke to play around. I kind of like that. Flashed off the Orpa. Flashed him off. This is good utility usage, but he survives just in the nick of time to come back oh, alive yeah. for three. Just disbalance, sitting at these stairs, running away. And another round for complexity. Yeah, Team Spirit not really um, engaging me at the moment on this T side. And, I, and I, I, it's not it's not necessarily what I had in mind for their T side. I thought Mirage was one of those maps where we get the, the classic mid aggression, deny the info, and then we're seeing setting Mir up in connector. You just leave him there, park him there, poke him product B, finish A with a palace lurk on magics. It's all, we've seen it all before. But at this point, of course, only with the Deagles, one can't have highest expectations, tech nines as well. This one, Certainly petering out. Maybe if we can get uh, Idis Balance into some dangerous positions early with the AWP, we can look for some openings. That might be one avenue. Uh, against the game against Gambit Youngsters, they played not that long ago. Oh, he's on point with the shot, just not quite on the head. They were doing like a four to five man kind of mid take, right? They would just throw that standard cat smoke and they would go and all biff and fight window. Not something that they're wanting to do right now against that of. He's a bassist behind the NHL goalie. He's got everything going on. Yeah, he's got he? all of the bells and whistles. And this is nice work from over. 12 HP for that last frag, so Chopper could have really caught him. Should be thanking Config for getting there in time to yeah. make sure he didn't go down to that in in initial Another frag. different look, though. We are going to be seeing the window smoke and the top mid smoke, so same as always. Config going for more aggressive support. And this is what I was hoping to see. A little bit more action towards A, but they've lost a prong already and Mir spotted as well. Jumps back into the smoke for safekeeping and look oh. at the angle Blame's <laughs> holding. That's going to really twist the knife. There's a bit of a gap in that one, I think. Poison might be able to exploit it. Oh, Config exploited it. Don't worry about Poison. This is perfect from complexity. They are not letting them play. I feel like we've got to that third map where... Simply put, one team a little bit more favourable than the others now. I guess it's how it can work out sometimes. and It's not Inferno, at least, which it normally seems to be. Um, but for now, good, good news for Complexity. Probably a good little rebound after the kind of shocker that was Nuke. It's never fun to lose on your own, especially in the fashion that they did. It was a little bit of a disappointment, I'm sure, for a couple of Complexity fans out there. But Magix and Chopper, 
now with 48 seconds still to mull things over, making it to the top of mid now. Flash for config info, nothing there. That's information transferred. And these two will just do their very best to uh, to make it impactful. And a finish, there is technically three CTs playing on that site, config and rotation. But again, it's that, it's that brutal case of we've got no time. We're probably just going to have to hide in Palace, so uh, we'll watch that one tick away. I'm not sure what they're, no, they're, they're I don't saving. Know. I think they're just yeah, saving. Just, like... just saving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do, we, how, do we, how do we jazz this up? How do you jazz it up? Well, I don't want to have too much fun, Lauren. We have to talk about the game, remember? Oh, you're jazz right. Hands. Can't be too jazzy about it. We have to make sure we're talking about the game, no matter how unengaging it is. Got it. We can't Got have any off-topic conversations. <laughs> How do we... We're not entertainers, we're commentators. Stop talking about anything that's not Counter-Strike. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Max loss bonus? That's where we want to go with the uh, I, I, I <laughs> Chad's trying. Know they, He's I, really reaching. I don't know what they can do right now. They're just getting shut out, right? Yeah. That's what's happening. Complexity of being able to build build a bit of a bank. That okay. was an interesting little tag. Well, let's let's see if there is any game changers. My brain will switch back online if I see that Spirit have, have maybe made something happen. As you said, they have the weird benefit of having at least a purchase here. Yeah, that's one. Let's call it that. That's good. Uh, we have the orb out for Ida's balance. He was great when we saw it before. Hasn't really got off the starting blocks here. And again, this slow posturing. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. As I sip from my water. Yeah, please do. They're, they're not even. They're, the thing is, they're not even <laughs> trying to bait out utility, right? Like, like, they just don't know what their intentions are. They, well, they obviously don't want to get pushed. That's their. That's they did the same thing as Vitality just the other day. They didn't want to get pushed and lose numbers early, which I can understand that, but. If they let the clock get down to 20 seconds every time before they go for a set piece, they're going to have a real rough time. So the run boost from... Okay. Flame could be caught out. And he is. Run boost him across and pluck him out of the air. That's great from Poison. Damn, what a way to find a frag back. And so, yeah, time's going to get a bit shy. It seems that they've already positioned accordingly for a potential B hit. I like Oboe's angle. He is going to be very vulnerable to a flashbang, but there is only one. He's got a lot of utility still as well to play with flashes, mollies. If he wants to make it trickier, he definitely could. But he's just going guns out right now. And it's working just fine. Let's why. Next added to config tally. And yeah, this round's just going to peter out to another uh, whisper from Team Spirit. Mir unable to really make anything happen given the time he's been left with to clutch out. Does well to find config. 10 seconds and 3 HP. Unfortunately, not a recipe for success. And uh, caught with his knife out, puts it on eight for complexity. Definitely a revitalized CT squad. We talk to Rush. Three timeouts out. As long as he's talking about the game, Lauren, that's fine. Oh. Rush Lee? Rush? Hello. Yeah, so the score's on the board right now. Uh, I'm trying to convert this into how I can understand in terms of danger zone. It's, uh, that's mm. still CSGO. We're allowed to talk about that, right? Yep, perfect. So you put the bump down, bump you step down. in front of it, and you control and space, and it makes a dumpf noise. A what? As, as opposed to the, which is the other noise? Like a uh, noise. It's <laughs> more like Sorry. that. Wait, what? You know, when you hold space with the XO, it goes like, uh. mm. Okay. You know, I haven't you know played I mean? enough to hear that noise. Wow. Yeah, well, you let's should play get some more Lauren, Let's play. I, I, you know, if I wanted to play a battle royale, I've got a couple other options, you know? Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what other video yeah. games you could possibly be talking about. Obviously, uh, not Counter Strike. Uh, uh, you're right. You're right. Only Counter Strike here, of course. It's going to be an A set piece coming on through, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Everybody at home, strap yourself in for this. But we will be having Rush over towards the site with poison ready to receive. Smokes and Molotovs and flashes are out. We get Tech Nines. Eight. Uh, we do. One Tech Nine. So it could be quick. I loved seeing it. I want to see it again. Here we Bring go. it back. Let's get into the action. Not yet. The posture, they've done the smokes. The problem is they've got a player ahead of these smokes on the CT side, which is Rush. And he is a little bit toasty around the edges, but he's still standing. So this hit isn't really fighting for him until now. Flashes are good, the T's come out, and Rush, a little bit overwhelmed here. Yeah, this one actually might get messy as Flame will go down, Config mopping up. Oh, definitely mopping up. He's going to finish off the last three. Picks up an AK-47, nine on the board. 
look, the previous round, not the one we just saw, the one I, where they went for that B hit. SDY actually team flashes. They were trying to enter. Uh, I saw that. It was supposed to go over the lip, was it? It didn't go over the lip. So there's a lot of things going wrong in the Team Spirit camp right now. It would be a real shame after them having such a good performance, winning 3v5s and whatnot over there on Nuke just to get blown out of the server 16-0 or 16-1 or something along those lines. Because it's like, oh, well, did we, did we, need, to, did we need to come here to see this result? But yeah. look, it is a round robin. It is lots of games to be played. And there's an opening, finally. Okay. That's a little bit quicker, too. The pace has been... Up a little bit, maybe config on, you know, a little bit surprised maybe after having some very meek rounds for some time. I'm sure the CT side is as weary as we are. Oh, poison though, still crisp right. as ever. Meek. Yeah. I don't know the definition of meek. I'm going to look that one up. Uh, mild, a, timid, a branch -like. of weak, but more related to their uh, their approach to life. Meek individual is like, for lack of a better word, a, puss a pussy. All right. Yeah. Submissive here in the definition. Yeah. Oh, damn. Disbalance has got the orb out as well. Anything but meek with him. Yeah, far from it. And they will have the probably their best shot. Oh, I love this. Oh, Rush, the Bloodhound does take Mir out of the equation. SDY to plan, Oboe to contest, Rush from short. Oh, and his head's vulnerable. Oboe just breaks it even worse for disbalance. He'd have to have another hero round, and with 10 HP, it gets all the more difficult. Rush knows what he's got to do, just has to contain. Disbalance his orb. Just don't give him any sort of lines of sight to favor him. Oh, I thought Oboe was about to walk <laughs> on in. Okay. All the time. Should have a chance here. Disbalance is being held by Rush, but if he pulls the trigger first, there's a world. There is a world where this is the round. It's not to be. 10 0. Double for Rush. I keep wanting to call him Rushly now. It's getting frustrating. <laughs> has has Chad ever joined us in Among Us, by the way? I don't have that. Think... No, I think it'd be very fun because I think. That'd be really. Can you imagine good Chad like trying to, to defend himself and lie? <gasps> you remember we did it. We did. Is that like um, that game we did at summer, Alex? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just very funny because I, I I had the exact same feelings you did, Alex. Where I'm like, I know when people are honest or not. I've got a good judge of ca nah, dude. I, I get lied to so often. It was apparently. ridiculous how ready and willing I was to like. <laughs> send Henry down the Henry's river. Henry's been murdered like, off he Like, he didn't even get to defend himself, no, Chad. People were making strong case, and I was like, yeah, no, it must no, be that's, him. That's I kicked fair. him off the ship. Innocent. Innocent. <laughs> I've known him for years, Chad. I didn't even hesitate. I didn't even wait to hear his side oh, of the story. Yeah. He didn't even start talking. I'm like, yeah, pointing fingers, get yeah, him off Henry. the ship. <laughs> it was it was honestly <laughs> wonderful. I learned I'd, a lot about myself that night. I'd like to get Rush involved. I don't know why Rush doesn't want to play it, though. He's really adamant he to likes not play it. He likes danger zone. He... No, I know that, but you can like other things. No, you can't. All right, Chad. <laughs> fun is allowed. We're allowed fun. Um, Spirit, Ooh. not sure about this it yet. This is actually the, the round I was talking about. Is this this the is the one? one I get excited about. They do have survived the first threat, keeping it looking an aggressive middle. Chopper's trying to keep him busy. Mir into the site. This is where they have a real chance, a real gap. And okay, Poison. Just got the muscle memory to find it full flash. No issues there. Mir as well into them. This will be Spirit's first round unless Oboe and Config, they've inflicted great damage. Look at them. They've got scrap of health, 21 health between the three players on that low HP. Oboe got a nade as well. Magic surely, surely going to get dunked on. He's opted oh. poorly, and he's actually going to throw all of his oh. goodies into the wrong spot. So that might be enough for them to call the, uh, the save. They've got cash to splash, though, so it looks like they'll just jump into the jaws. And that spirit breaking the silence. Make it 10-5, we can start talking about it. The irony being, it's the one round you really wanted to see. Yeah. The exciting, fast pace, I guess one thing you have, kind of set the tempo at zero, so that probably was a surprise. But make no mistake, spirit's a pace, as, as boring as it may be sometimes when it's not working, it's got it's it's, it's planted in logic. It's planted in, a, in their approach to the game, of course. I mean, yeah, it goes without saying. But just for those that feel like I'm criticizing their favorite team and they're crying oh. into their team spirit jersey, I want to make sure they know that this is a, a choice. This is a choice they're actively making, this pace. And as Chad has highlighted repeatedly, it is something that they were much more rewarded for against an aggressive CT side, pushing for info like Vitality. Complexity, a different beast. And look at this lineup. Chopper's got one for the under a balcony, so Rush might survive this. He's not, is he? Oh, he wants to surprise them, but there's two of them. That's more surprising than it initially intended, and they will just rinse repeat. This one worked every single time, and it looks like it might work again. Poison's got a gap. It's a small one for the cross to try box. So keeps him locked on the site, right? Nade comes in. 
Still standing. Do they have any more? Yeah, Molly about to follow, and now he's pinned. Flash. I saw Flash to maybe give him a second to work something out. He's, he's oh. just, what? How is Poison alive? This is ridiculous scenes. Bomb not planted, lost in a pretty tricky spot. Lame's going to win the round for them. He is far too smart for his own good. All he needs his teammates to do is just delay. Oh. Excuse me? Okay, magics. Yeah, so the fact that Disbalance is going to call that clear, and now the bomb's going down. If Disbalance finds Blame, we're, we're cooking. If he doesn't, Blame can win this round, and he will. Oh. Take the fight, bit oh. sketchy. Magic's low. 34 options removed by Blame, Fs, and Sendry. Obo closing in the gap from that stairs position, and a flash could be their go. Now he's picked one up. Off the stairs, baits him in. Blame also trying to make sure they don't peek at the wrong time. They need to time this together, and they do. Good stuff. Good gaming. Absolute gamer. I was uh, the the fact that Poison got one kill there is wild. I thought that he was dead as soon as that Molly landed. The fact he can dance around and that still jump off the stairs, give us a 360, get himself a big round there, or a big kill even for a big round. Eleven to one as we continue in this simmering direction. It is eight hundred dollars getting added to the total for Team Spirit Supply going into the following. And because they lost so many in a row, the loss bonus would have only tricked back by one. So it's gone from thirty four hundred down to twenty nine hundred, which means with the plant they will still be able to buy. Orp on disbalance again. And the double orps are out on the complexity side of things. So one for poison, one for config. Quicker over towards middle this time, Molotov towards the mid box, and there's Disbalance finding poison. Big pick. What can you do with it, though? Let's have a look. It does leave Oboe quite alone, doesn't it? Once you remove that presence, Oboe's on a little bit of an island. Not looking so tropical. There's plenty of oh, the timing. Just as you switch away, I Disbalance is doing wonderful work in middle here. This round's been pretty exceptional for him. Yeah, it took a couple of A hits for Complexity to forget about the mid fights and how passive they were being, translating into victories. Now, oh, Rush has the Shadow and the Frag. So big push up, that'll buy a lot of time. Expect to see the clock run down a little bit here as they have to sweep and check all of that ramp aggression potentially. They can plant their feet. 50 seconds. Looks like they're actually opting to go through Palace as a unit, so Rush could be really a crucial component, but Mir hits his shot. Now it gets awkward. Wide open. Blame had pushed up, so they should have access to the A site. And this should be the second for Spirit. Nothing really from Oboe's perspective. He's got Molotov to lock him out of his position. Blame's taking his sweet time. CT loss bonus at 1400, so SDY finding blame F here would put him on peanuts. He's locking him in. <laughs> He's locking him in. That's a T side smoke right here from hey. blame. Just trying to. Ooh. Show me that lineup again? Because I only know the one from the mid boxes. We can't show you that right now, Lauren. Oh. I'm sorry. We don't have that technology at our disposal right in this very second. Really one day, like though, that. it'll be possible. If I had to throw that from top mid before, so it's I nice to do it safe. I saw some absolute. Freak work out a smoke from the palace, like the entrance to palace at T spawn to the Fine. B window of kitchen. What? Yeah, for like, you know, if you're in a clutch scenario and you want to just fake the way you're committing, he was throwing it from palace, Nasty jump throw, boys. and it was doing some weird trigonometry bounce and landed right by the window kitchen. Very cool. I imagine it will probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that one pulled out by a Carrigan or something mm. at a LAN event. Here we oh, go. LAN, you remember LAN? See this one. Thank you very much. Doesn't Easy look too peasy. tricky, no. honestly. That looks... Put that one in your bag, Lauren. I want to yeah, see I like that. Yeah. Do you have a jump line, Lauren? Uh, no, but I can get one pretty easy. Don't get her started about configs. And we talked yeah, about how... I sorted it out yesterday, but then I messed up my crosshair. So it's my bad. I need to go for the flush, the flusha dot. I, just, I was like, oh, that is quite nice. And then I forgot to change it back. Whee. So, yeet. Um, yeah, I, I, it's nice that you can do that safely. Now. Oh, 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 speaking of safe... Very much safe over towards the B side of the map. Oboe's walked away 41 HP. Some die young, barely alive on 19. Both have taken a fair bit of flack here, but again, that bomb being in spawn, my mind goes to this is going to be that mid-take slow-paced piece, but maybe huh. a disbalance could dispel that worry. Yeah, really cool to see his uh, his own flashes for his own peaks. It's one of the few warpers I've seen doing that re religiously as well as Woxic. It's all ironed out. 
Dink exchange. So the AK prevails in that one. Disbalance is found Oboe on B, but will they expect Config if they try and go B? If this is a mid-round call, as wild where Config goes unchecked. Oh, and the timing doesn't favor him this time. SDY will pick him up. And so, yeah, it seems like this is Team Spirit. Going to send the uh, CTs back to the Stone Age. And that's about it. Bomb to be planted. An extra 300 bucks for magic, so he'll be able to treat himself right. Not sure if Rush will want to hold on to this. Might try and just find a kill. Yeah, an AK would be all right, wouldn't it? There's an AWP. Great yeah. insight. Ooh, baby. Drop the protector. Uh, looking the wrong way, but still gets the kill. So <laughs> clean stuff from Spirit there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, that face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, we'll man, try hey, again. Hey, hey, un unlucky, man. Unlucky. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Right. Let's get the last one, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I've, I've never seen a brown gaming chair. Oh, where was that? I, I missed it. Poison's got a brown chair. That's, oh, that's pretty brown. much my analysis coming into round 15. Lovely. I'm working out if I want swamp tonight or Thanks. something else weird. Oh, uh, disbalance in middle again. Obviously, the light purchase here for the CTs, nothing more to work with. They're just... It looks like they want this <laughs> it's over and done with the way they're just peeking into... Peeking into it. His teammates' blood covering the banana boxes. Won't be able to ship them. Perhaps at a discount. Wondered why. Is it bananas? Wait, have a look. It's oranges. Oranges. Yeah. Bloody hate oranges. Oh, the Jaffa cakes. What? Yeah. Do you not like oranges? I mean, I'll eat a fresh orange, but anything orange flavored just tastes like juice? garbage. Yeah, orange like juice. Yeah, pro proper orange. Real orange yeah, orange yeah. juice. Not but just as soon like as I go nasty. to America and it's like orange it's flavor like sugar drink. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. That's I, it's, I, I didn't even like like Lucas Aid when it used to be like that. That wasn't my jam either. Sugar free. Chock a block full of aspartame. <laughs> not on a fan. How many is Rush getting here? One. One? Uh, half HP on one. Oh. Mm, not even. Not enough. The difference a map can make. Yeah, but 11-4 from where they were. Look, if we're going to be honest about things, it's not too bad. You can see how much this means to Spirit, right? The fact that they're not just committing and trying to trade out. They know that the B-bomb site's open. They're rotating all the way back through spawn. They're being very safe about it, being very diligent about it. And Chopper, well, he's taking a lot of space. That's closed the round. Oboe, if he was able to win this, it would be an absolute miracle. And... Well, that's not a bad start, but once again, they're playing it so safe that Idis Balance has no reason to hang around right now. No reason to stick around that Ogo, he's going to go down. And that was 11-4. That was the half. That is what we've seen. It was some slow counter-strike. We got there in the end, and complexity, they need to gear it up and see if they can take it five rounds. When we get back from the break is all they need. Stick with us. Keep seeing you too much. 
many times, too many times. Yeah, yeah. I know it's in my head, keep seeing you. I know it's in my head. Four half and complexity just five rounds away from converting this series. The first two maps up and down. Spirit certainly down right now, but they can pick it right up on that defense. But it's complexity and of course blame leading them by example. Expecting a bit of a change of pace as well. Let's not forget how slow and well dreary that whole first half was. I'm looking forward to it. A bit of an injection of energy from our international roster. Of course, boot camping and competing in Europe. Complexity doing it different, and so are they. On the pistol, a fast smoke and flash. They want to sell a fast day. SDY could get caught out in middle here, but he doesn't. And myself, oh, disbalance is the one worth talking about, but burned to a crisp. And SDY forced to re relocate. I thought he might have been caught out there. Mere backing away off the smoke. Two smokes deployed, and a site with some access. SDY revokes it. <laughs> These trades are just back and forth until then. Poison the first one to really break the trend. And it's put Spirit in a bad spot here. The bomb's now made it across towards the site. Rush just soaking up the bullets. But Blame F is the one keeping short safe. He knows that Mir was over here. But still, Magic is able to find Rush. So problems brewing here for this post-plant complexity side. Keeping control is the main name of the game, and they've lost it now. Down to just Poison, who did well to start with, and he needs more of that. That's damage. Oh, he was desperate for more, but it's not to be. And Spirit, right back on this. You're right to hide this one up, Alex. Maybe they do have that spirit within them to bring this comeback home. Yeah, it certainly starts with a pistol, and it will be need to see the conversion. Complexity are no slouch at converting, but with the bomb down, that might deter them to just go ahead and play it equal on the Deagle for the next full buy into the third round of play in the second half. This was Poison's attempt. Some good shots. Let's see that second one. Bonk. Oh, damn. It was a very, very quiet start to the game, wasn't it? It was just uh, some slow counter-strike, but I think Complexity probably have a bit more tenacity in their T side than that of Spirit. So this side here from the T's will be a bit quicker. And as the Deagles come on through, seeing if they can find anybody's heads. Obo pushed forward by that Molotov, has to hang around for roughly another five seconds or so. And that's a missed smoke right there. Hmm, good catch from our OBS. Hopefully that's not something that comes back to plague them too much in further round or future rounds, as we can see it won't be an issue right now in round number 17. I just balance. He could easily get his head ripped off here. Oh, not anymore. God, that name. Could have been so much more than it was, but blame F now. Look at this position from SDY. Like, God, I'd be so mad. It's smart. Locking down, giving them enough rope to hang themselves. And yeah, you can have window, it's all yours. They didn't break the vent, and so a very interesting dynamic will perhaps unfold here where it's going to be a who will go first. SDY, if he doesn't find blame, and you know blame's quite willing to stand still. Still, that's not the focus now. 40 seconds, and Spans and Chopper to be tested. And if they fall, then it's oh. game on. Obo finds disbalance. He was over towards that ticket booth. Chopper instantly responds, but Config's there, so now we have a bit of a trade back through. Blame F was held off, and you can see the kind of conclusion of that window battle. But for now, maybe a plan would be lovely, but I don't think they're going to get the chance. Not to be Spirit keeping three, keeping themselves safe. Rifle. Oh, did I see? Two of the rifles in play. I don't know what happened to the third player's gun then. Yeah, he might have thrown it away in pursuit of something else Aish. and not been able to bring it through. That's no fun. Mir's opted for the... Uh, replacement keyboard grip t tissue paper strategy. Um, as someone that's lost his, oof, damn, keyboard grips. I've been there. 
We had success with the with the tissue grip the other night, Alex, to get your, your, your earring off. That worked. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. I've actually got a nice dangly earring that I haven't been able to show you guys because of the whole headset situation. So AKs are out. Complexity feigning a bit of mid control, but it will just be the A pop. Flash is over and they're going. Yeah, this is nice. Bit of a change of pace. Spirit are like, what? You can push the site oh, at the start crazy. of the round? Never seen this before. Uh-oh. Uh, Safe. It's all right. I'm waiting for that spread. It makes me nervous now. It's only made this balance nervous, but he gets a little bit of additional play. They'll probably know it wasn't quite to the corner, but I wonder if he gets away with any more. For now, yes, he plays just ahead of that smoke and it's gorgeous. Exactly what they wanted. But they're still in a tough spot. It's not so over yet. It. Oh, config. That's a that's a real blunder. AMF. Difficult circumstances. Time on the side of the T side now with a bomb soon, surely, to be picking in his favor. Now Magix is on the bomb. He's just not gonna be able to contest that, chooses not to. And so, seventh found for Team Spirit. They are more than capable of playing these retakes. Of course, Config not being able to check his close corners did definitely have some ramifications. That was his chance to deny a lot of the CT after plant retake, whatever you want to call it. And here we are, 11 to 7. I thought that was uh, uh, the retakes that we had seen over there on Nuke were one of the key reasons why Spirit were actually able to get into a lot of those rounds within the first half. So if they're willing to just play the retake style of Counter-Strike here again on Mirage, Complexity will need to adjust quicker than what they did on Nuke. So once again, they're feigning the mid-control. It's just some basic flashes and smokes, nothing too crazy, and they're going for the exact same play. Pop onto A. They really want to punish this. I think they believe they can get out and get the bomb down every time, but it's the post plant that's the problem. Yeah, look at this angle adopted now. We've got four CTs, nearly five, all ready to prepare for this retake. Denying some info. Poison needs to find that frag, but he's got the bomb. He's got to be careful with that one. Damn, Poison takes matters into his own hands. Chopper can do the same here. Wallbang should find Poison, or even better, he denies the plant. All onto disbalance, though. Positioning coming out from someone like Config, just sitting there. That cross is being monitored. There's so few opportunities being given up. And Molly, Oboe, all, com all coming together at the right time. Complexity, do stick the landing. All right, well, no money left over on the side of things for Spirit. They've been whittled on down. It's been expensive to have to go for the retakes time and time again. Oof. Oh, it's dangerous. <laughs> the, with the bomb. <laughs> the team damage is like, oh, 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 all right, well. We'll just be the eco from Spirit. They have one smoke grenade. That's going to be used by Chopper over towards A. And all they want to do is have a power of suggestion that, oh, if there's a smoke over here, there could be more. There could be something behind it. We can see that's all a bit of a ruse. There's going to be four players over towards the B site. Now that Chopper's throwing the smoke, he'll make his way back over with the team as well. And they're just stacked on up. So if Complexity do rush into the B bomb site through apartments and through that of short, clearing off all of these boosts and boxes will be dangerous. But as we can see here, they're postured up, ready and waiting at the start of the round. A minute 20 left on the clock. You want to find out what type of buy that you're dealing with first. And as they comb through, as they push through and they find out, oh, okay, they're not fighting. There's no nades in exchange. No one's spotting the normal angles that we would see with uh, rifles or AWPs. They'll be working out what type of buy. Like even Deagles would take more forward lines to this than Irregulus mm. because you might just go for that one shot, fall back. It's just to, to scare them out. But the read is right from Spirit. Look at this. We can see that now three players over towards B Apartments, one towards the vent room from that of Complexity is indicative of a B split. Now, they don't have a lot of utility to work with. It might just be flashes. When see if Blame F does anything with this, though. He's in connector, and I guess he's just expecting them to be tucked into positions. But you're right, they're, they're, they're heading straight through. This could become an issue eventually. We'll find out. These are the final kind of nice hidden pieces. This is really nice thus far until the team kill comes in. Magic. Oh. So... Uh, problems now. Okay, yeah. 25 seconds, and they're disconnected. Suddenly a rifle comes into play. Config on his own. Blame F just about makes it there in time to save Oof. the day, but that was way too close. Yeah, that was a full eco down to a one-on-one, -on -one, not the uh, safest. But converted. Good read by Spirit to make that gamble stack from the start of the round. Just one smoke, five CTs, USPs, and well, very, very costly. So they've put themselves in a position where they can start looking to get some traction on the CT side. Guns will come out again. I just found on the AWP. Light utility, not a huge lot to work with. So this is going to be more heads up jewels in their favor here. 
Hmm. Quite interesting. Oh dear. Bloody hell, it works too. He went close as well. Normally it's just for that initial cross. Mm. The fact that he gets greeted with it up close and personal like that. Bit of a jump scare, <laughs> most. Do you remember that maze game that was making the rounds in the early stages? Yeah. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. I, that's the one thing I really hate. It got me good. Magic's Molotov out of position. Obo's done well to keep the CTs interested at B. SDY, on the other hand, is playing a very passive line of sight just to hold the potential window boost. But it does seem like they're going to say, oh. Except for window, that's yeah. cool. Might get time. caught with nades out here. Good attention to detail to try and reflash it. CT side have won the the battle for now, at least towards B, but I'm waiting for the rest of the T's because they're kind of coming up short here. Blame F. Oh. It's found Mir, that's gorgeous work, but Magix is still being a nuisance. He's the one who almost made it deadly in that previous round, bear in mind. And he could do something again. Config isolated, that's the bomb now lost. Again, three kills for Magix is excellent, but the T's are giving them a couple of fights here. Yeah, Disbalance doing well so we can rejoin the squad. Poison solo as well, and oh, oh Magix, this guy. He's a constant threat, a thorn in the side. Spirit take eight, four for Magix. He certainly will be deserving of that AK into the next round. He has just enough to warn them off from a B hit in the future. I'm curious if with that light survivability of Spirit in this round, will hedge complexity into going for a force, like going for something with pistols? Because uh, look, if they were more a little bit more grouped up in their approach, uh, and we're a little bit okay, more organized. They're not going to go for it. They're just going to go for uh, the safe play. They still have a, a commanding lead. This should be a simple round. Config has a flash. That could be to set up Blame to go for a pick. That's about all I can really see with this one here. Yeah, bigger picture, though, for me is that I'm getting to see Magic's really find some footing. I, I roll my mind back to Nuke on ramp. He had that crazy round, individually yeah. taking apart complexity. He's had a little moment here. He's definitely a player that, that could build a little in my mind, and maybe I've missed his, his moments of coming together. Hold on, that's a mistake and a half. Blame F, absolutely. Catching SDY, middle of the map. Now, response should be swift. This, this shouldn't go anywhere, Alex. No, certainly not. And while to take down the uh, dual unarmored Glock versus MP9, Config will be happy to affix the scalp of Chopper to his belt. But this is where it ends. Yeah, fresh magazine. Maybe the element of surprise for Config. He was last spotted on ramp, so Mir will have another look. And Opportunity for Config here. If Mir doesn't procedurally clear it, that's the cue. Hard shot to hit. Does get the dink. Needed to. Mir gets his quad kill. Nice little eco cobra. <laughs> and so 13 to 9. It is time for the weapons to come back out. See the recap of the series so far. Complexity taking Spirit's pick and then vice versa. Nuke a full 30 rounds regulation, a full 30 frags in regulation from Blame, but wasn't enough. And this is how we got this round started as well. Just taking the weapons away, SDY losing that. It's probably not going to feel too good. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least he smiles. Yeah. His frustration isn't like that many of the others. It's like, oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, okay. I, I see. you got to smile that one away. You did just get... Laugh or you'll cry. One of those. Certainly I uh, associate with those emotions. Good good summary. Um, however, for the T's here, they, they do have the, a better purchase than before, but the, the utility is going to be waning a touch. It doesn't have that longevity anymore. I see two smokes, a couple of flashes, but they don't have the full kit and caboodle, so maybe already used early game, or simply put, they couldn't afford it. As you can see, the money is down very low. On the other side, though, pretty flush. They've got everything they want. And I disbalance posted up attentively towards B. Maybe an early aggress there for them. They seem to like to do this quite often. I see some big problems for complexity here on this T side. You bang on, Lauren. No utility. There's not a lot to work with. And they're trying to find the gap right now. SDY, he thinks better of hanging around that window smoke. But now it just comes down to the kills. There's a handful of flashes, five to be exact. No smokes to corner off. So what they need to do is they need to get full control of either side that they want to hit if they want to win this round. There's no other way in. Uh, does go traded. Disbalance spotted over towards Rush's position. Obo trying to cross in. He's so alone, but he will go for the connector side plan, and that enables him to play the after plan from here. Magix could really pull the rug from under them if he catches poison, and oh. ooh, warning shot. That's exactly what complexity needed. Doesn't stop him. Continuing to do damage. The rest from CT. Rush, a flash, poison, a frag, SDY gone. 
And Mir trying to get across, but that is a gap. Poison cannot afford to miss this shot. God, oh my, he's got two potential targets. He hits the other 50%. That's Idis balance down, but this is the final hurdle. Mir's found an angle. Not on it, confirms it. Now he's holding the bullets. The little riddle, the rye. Knife out. He's got to find him. He stabs him. The defuse comes in. One second to spare. Oh, the knife was there, but it wasn't enough damage. Spirit take the 10th. Outrageous, the hold from Mir. That's essentially a clutch. That's a 1v2. Let's take it a another look at that. That was SDY's previous death from the previous round. Here this is poison. He gets those first two. He's doing all the right moves, upgrades the AK, but Mir, it was the decision to go oh. for the stab. It must have just been in the hip. Not enough for the backstab. And oh, that could have been a 14-9. Now we stand at 13-10, and the CTs have not got all the bells and whistles that they desire. The T is certainly well equipped. Just an MP9 and limited utility for a couple, but GG.bet seem to believe Complexity have this one in the bag. Smoke towards that ramp. I'm starting to worry for Complexity in this game. It feels like there's a fizzle going on right now. They have enough utility this time to go for a set piece to actually corner off some areas of the map that they want to focus on. But Team Spirit, with their CT-sided aggression, it's been very good. They've taken a lot of territory, they've taken a lot of info. They don't even seem flustered when the bomb goes down, which is a positive sign. One of the reasons that they've been able to make these retakes happen and Chopper up close and personal. There's a timer on this smoke. He needs to be careful as well. As the smoke blooms and moves, his feet might get caught. Is he going to stand and get flashed in? Is he going to go aggressive? Ballsy bastard. Look at that nade. Config waiting anti-flash. Yeah, lovely work by him. Can't do any more. I thought he might have had Oboe then too. Valiant attempt. We'll certainly slow them down. Oboe on the AWP with his low HP and he pulls the trigger on disbalance. Magix has to get the rotate on, as does Mir. Flashes from Rush is not going to get him anywhere, but the smokes and Molotovs will buy time and space. Now the flashes start to barrage in. SDY, anti-flash and ready to completely destabilize. Needs a frag, finds one. Oboe still making that low HP sing. He sees the barrel and Mir not going to go down. He does to config. And a 1v2, Magix can clutch oh. this out again. Look at him trying to get away. He has found a safe haven. It's an iconic one-on-one -on -one throughout this series. He has to fake it out. Looking for the duel. Magix him, him. him. He has to hunt him. Three seconds. Oh. Flame does pull it across the line. He, he stays cool under pressure. But my goodness, that was down to the last three seconds of the round. And so was the one previously. It is coming down to a matter of seconds to determine who will be taking Mirage here. Oh, look at Team Spirit's money after that round loss, though. They've been peppered with Mir going down on that round where he had to defuse the bomb. This was big by Oboe just from the replay. Unlucky to not grab another, but I thought he had done him here because the SMG, close range like that, yeah. the fact that he was, like, jiggling around, I thought maybe he was able to convert, but blame after the Clutch Master or the Clutch Man. He steps up to the plate. And Sick replay. Really just placed Spirit in a horrible, horrible scenario. They've had to force by. This is do or die for them right now. Yeah, it's all on this and already. Two frags for blame. Oboe's added another. It looks like the pain train's back on track. Magix and Chopper can't do anything. This force by Chad Ye. We didn't even get a chance to highlight it because the bodies were already dropping, but... Goodness. Team Spirit, they put it all on the line and, and it, ca it came down to a 1v1. Isn't that just absurd? Yeah. That had Magix have got that frag with an MP9, we could be looking at overtime, if not a Spirit win. Whole different game, and, and now it is just complexity stealing back the, the, the steering wheel, right, yep. of Mirage, and driving it over the finish line, because look, this should be done. Right now, the money situation for the side of things of Spirit is going to be in the bin, it's going to be trashed here. Yep. Magix is probably not even going to survive with his armor, kit, and smoke, because they heard where he is, they could start hunting him out if they want. Blame's actually thinking a little bit better of it, doesn't want to give him that AK because of his low HP, which is the Right, cool. But it's only $1,900 next round, so... Do the maths. We're going to get a disbalanced scout. We're going to get some armor digs. $1,900 doesn't enable any hero purchases. So much they pay Rush every day, so... Yeah, man, that world-class observer doesn't come cheap. I just have to still say I am absolutely blown away by Blame F. That 1v1 gets it. The amount of work he did on Nuke, whether it win or not, I... I we often use the phrase, you know, leading from the front, but it, it feels so apparent when I watch this man play, and it, and it works for him, though. You know what I mean? Puts himself in those positions to win them out, and it, it does seem to work more often than not, which is very impressive. It, it does feel a bit of a, 
an enjoyable one to watch, but we do see the fans, of course, still tuning in. A lot of complexity. Is this, it, it, do they go on Slack in the morning, right, boys? If you're not on webcam, if you're not on the fan cams, you're out of here. 15 to 10, though, they'll have something to talk about, I'm sure. Look at that smoke from Is it going to miss this time? Because remember, it oh, missed oh, oh, earlier. Okay. Oh, Ooh, there we go. It's nice. made it this time. So, Perfect. Rush has highlighted it twice for us. Once as a foul, once as a working smoke grenade. Fully functional. That's the one. Unlike my brain. Good kill from Rush, because they just set up in the default. A lot of damage done to SDY as well, so that info will go through to Blame and Co of how they want to approach this final round, knowing it was Deagles, knowing it was aggressive towards a ramp. That was the Hail Mary attempt. They need to push B for info. They need to. They have to make sure they've got all their Deagles in the right place by the time this hit comes in. They have. Calling it clear now. Just balance readies his aim. SDY about to get caught out if he doesn't tuck in. And here is the conversion. Mere magics. Limited in every single facet of the game. And Poison's not missing any shots. One more frag will do it from behind. Could have Mere's number and it's a quick flick. Lovely finish. Complexity will take the series.